Alrighty then. Much better. I started recording that video and I noticed how naked I was in the reflection of my own 4K TV. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna, y'all, y'all want to see a 49 year old fat old buzzard in his goddamn Thundercat underoo. So, uh, yeah. Had to get dressed real quick. But anyway, I decided to give this, um, OPL XPAD another try here for the internal hard drive, uh, Grim Doomer's, uh, um, tweak to OPL and it's working a hell of a lot better than the first time around. Um, the hard drive I'm using in there is a uh, one terabyte Seagate laptop hard drive, 54 RPM, single ma magnetic recording. Uh, it used to be in a PS4 and kept on dying, so I did a smart test and it passed everything. And uh, I usually put it in this little Kingston little uh, dock and uh, hook it up to my Ryzen system over there and install my uh, ISOs. And the first time I did it, I had it set to 500 and uh, 512 kilobyte sectors or something like that or file size the max it, it just because I, I i read that in the in the uh, readme uh, of uh that grim doomer left that uh his uh sabrant controller was defaulting to 512 or and i figured you know hey you know this Maybe I should, this is a one terabyte drive, maybe, sh maybe I should go 512. Turns out it was a bad idea. Um, when you're running an XFAT drive and uh, the way the um, file size and cluster size work for XFAT is a little bit differently. It's not like NTFS where you can get four kilobyte sectors. In fact, that would be pretty bad considering for XFAT because you got to think, these are ISOs. These are anywhere between four uh, gigabyte and eight gigabyte depending on single and dual layer ISO so uh, four kilobit um, sector size is not very good it, it won't be good for performance on XPAT you want a slightly larger one so what happened is when I formatted this drive uh, I wiped it clean because I had all 90 of my ISOs on it um, I formatted it back to XPAT but I also converted it to MBR instead of GPT because GPT is useless on anything less than two gig. So it's only, uh, it, I mean, two terabyte router. So this is a uh, one terabyte drive. Might as well just stick with NBR. Um, and so uh, with NBR, XPAT, and I used the default sector size, which would have been, uh, that would have been 128K, according to Microsoft. And the result is fantastic. I only uh, stored um, seven uh, ISOs on here of varying uh, sizes between, you know, single layer and dual layer. I got a dual layer Yakuza 2 there. A oh, good old devil summoner. So let's give this one a try here, okay? And you notice something else. My artwork is loading real nice and fast. It is really freaking sleek. So there, there you, that's what you need. Um, if, you're, if you're using one terabyte... If you're going to use two terabytes or less on your hard drive for Grim Doomer's uh, version of OPL here, um, if you're going to use a two terabyte drive or less, make sure it's NBR and use a, a cluster size of 192 kilobytes, and uh, that should that should work. It's doing it's doing a phenomenal job here on my end. And let's boot up uh, old Devil Summoner here. Now, when I first did this the first time with the 512 kilobyte sector size, this thing took three to five minutes. Now it's pretty much instantaneous. This is what I'm used to seeing. Loading, saving, config, and off where to the races we go. One of my favorite games. <laughs> they need to bring this back. We need a third game in this series. Come on, Atlas, make it happen. There we go. Yep, so that works. And, uh, yeah, works very well. Hell freaking yeah. Let me do an IGR. I gotta set the phone down here. Here, let me. I gotta set the phone down to do an in-game reset.
So hold on a second here. There we go. There we go. In guard, in game reset there. That drive right there has my uh, HDD 2.0. It's the original. Uh, uh, it's a 640 gig. I've got uh, all my ISOs on it. That's the old school method of doing this. That, that's uh, on APA uh, PFS partitioning scheme and file system. So yeah, that's that's the drive. But that's the drive I want to replace with the XFAT drive uh, going forward. All right, so let's go down. Now here's the thing I've noticed. I'm gonna OPO XFAT. It boots up real fine. Boots up nice. Takes a little bit of longer. But uh, when I go to um, regular OPL without Grim Domer's uh, work, yeah, we, I, it, it, it actually crashes on my old hard drive. It's not very compatible with the old uh, method. Here we go. So that was Devil Summoner. Deception. That's the bonus disc. Deadly Alliance. Preview Edition. Artonalical EX Final. Let's try a dual air game here. Yakuza 2. Oh yeah. That is such an improvement. I don't have a Yakuza save. Ah, that's right, because it's on the old hard drive. That would make sense. Come on, taking long enough. All right. You know what's sad is I've got this. I've got the Yakuza Complete Collection on PS4. So I really don't need this game anymore. <laughs> Unless I want to play the old school version. You know, I want to dust off the PS2 version of this sucker, the original release. But yeah, so far so good. So yeah, this, uh, holy crap, that's loud. All right, time to set this down. <sighs> God damn it. When I hit, when I do a reset, reset. I need a new controller. Did you just crash on me? Yep, sure enough. Come on. There we go. <sighs> done a night in game reset and it crashed so yeah this is um this is much better i don't know if i'm gonna work on it today i just wanted to confirm that it does freaking work um the only drawback is i don't get my uh i don't get hdd sys uh, two, uh 2 .0. um this drive has empty uh, uh free hard drive boot on it in case my uh usb fails <laughs> So, uh, in, in case free McBoot or the memory card's not detecting right, it'll automatically boot to free Mc, uh, free it'll boot uh, free hard drive boot off the hard drive. That's how I got this configured. Um, <clears throat> if I go to if I go expat, that will no longer work. And uh, I don't know if uh, Grim Doomer can actually make it work because of the way uh, free McBoot uh, initializes the way the first sector in the hard drive and the APA partition scheme. It's just a lot of work. It, it's a lot of tweaking probably to get this uh, to work. They have to, um, uh, right now, you launch, uh, you launch won't work. Heck no. You launch is pretty much useless right now with XFAT. Uh, unless, uh, unless um, Akuhawk released a new version, I'd have to check. Because uh, they're supposed to come out with a new version of U-Launch that'll uh, support XPAT. And uh, that's what we're really uh, excited for. But other than that, I did have an issue. Now notice this is the latest, uh, this is the latest OPL 1.20. This is the latest beta that was released, I think, yesterday. And uh, it... Um, well, no, actually, I don't have no problems with that. It's OPL XFAT that I have an issue with. If I put the old hard drive in, if I put that old school hard drive in, OPL XFAT will uh, 
not even see it. I'd have to, I have to reconfigure it, uh, and it's just, it, it, I, it's a pain in the ass. I'd have to reconfigure it to make sure that uh, the old uh, way of addressing the hard drive is still intact. And uh, other people have already tested it out. They've already reported it. But for me, um, the last, when, what happened to me was when I reinstalled that hard drive yesterday after I got done testing and I got bored with this. When I reinstalled that hard drive there back into the system, I accidentally launched OPL XFAT and got a black screen. It just sat there with a, on a black screen with a little bar, a little underline at the bottom. And it sat there for five, ten minutes. So it's not very, I, it, this kind of breaks compatibility to some extent with the old hard drive format. But I will say the, uh, <laughs> the benefits outweigh that because we really need to get away from APA. We really need to get away from the PFS file system. And to have drag and drop on my machine, <laughs> it's fucking excellent. So I don't, I'm kind of torn on what I'm gonna do here. Um, I might just go ahead and uh, pluck this drive back out of there and load my ISOs back onto it since it's working great now and just uh, let it ride, let it chain load into OPL XFAT and, uh, and see what happens. I've got this as a backup in case something, uh, something goes south. So, yeah, the second time, is, uh, second time around is uh, a success. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and Tagonzo Media. Like If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.